Phew, can you believe I made it? I made it. All right, with a uh, man that had to have taken less than a minute to get in. Good morning. Power up. Uh, All right. Apple. Adding. I'll share a chart. Okay. There's our bell. And you can see the power move up. I'll zoom in for you guys. It is right there. Okay, let's get some time and dates in here for you guys. This is Thursday, September 22nd. <coughs> Go through my tweets. Let's find, see if we can find where Cheddar is today. And ELF is going to be up because they're IPOing. So we're not going to be playing the event. Um, let's see here. ELF, ELF, ELF. Uh, let's see. Oh my goodness. That's right. They chose that name that has... Um, of that piece here go back to the chart okay it's better if you keep it to one tab too so that's our apple and then we'll six out of some of this here's our google same thing busting up and out of range healthier candles of course a lot of pent-up energy Let's go ahead and we'll run over to our fire top. And let's see here. These are our tickers. Apple Starbucks. Go over to Starbucks. Starbucks opened on the day, same thing. A gappy open for most of the names. There's that pressure coming from the 96 to take price higher, sort of waiting for this tap. Okay, so everything looks good over there. So you're going to see us go back and forth between Starbucks uh, between the chart itself and fire talk disca and uh, a lot of volatility in disca this morning so there was some pent-up 
cautiousness there, same thing with Disca at the top there. And so Apple, Starbucks, Disca, Twitter. Let's see how Twitter's handling the open. So now that all of that uh, pent up anxiety, right? That's what this is over FOMC. And now you can see the volatility of the morning. Facebook is next. Same thing with Facebook. So all the issues are up on the day. I'll start reading the up prices in just a moment. Microsoft is... Then we're going to mark the charts off too as to when we started, which was September 12th, and mark those off vertical lines. There's the open on Microsoft. Point four. The open on Google we already did. Open on the R Horton. Same thing. Up one point three five percent. Amgen, AMGN. This ought to be an interesting chart. Okay, because we had a vortex up here, I want to take a look and see. I think on Amgen we'll pull the chart back this one time. Oh my goodness. I hexed out on my chart instead of pulling forward. Amgen. Let's pull the chart back to the 15 minutes to see where those lines came from. There we go. So remember the T-spout, right? The ascending pattern. When it comes to a conclusion, it will T-spout down, which is exactly what this happened here. So here's the vortex. That's the end of the pattern. So of course, it's supposed to happen either close to the end of the pattern. What this is, is that the pattern started by price coming down. And if this works out the way that it should, and look at that cross over the W, by the way, the 96. If this works out the way that it should, it will continue on its path down. So let's take a look because the pattern is over. The pattern actually terminated right there. Cross of the W from here took us to the 96. So there's a few ways that we can follow this trade. The trade is up 0.24%. Next up on uh, Amgen is Netflix and FLX. Netflix trying to go through a recovery. It's up 0.55%. So most of this can be, this is a gap, of course. Most of this we can tailor with a Fibonacci to see if we're going to go up and above the 50% mark so we could throw to fib in here. Remember, we're just using the Fibonacci just to establish. Something that's happening with the price and can we follow price? There's a 618 right there. So what you want to do is for this, if this is to continue to go up and correct itself to come back up and around. With all that uh, odd news that it was getting itself caught on, into with Netflix up 0.81%. So we'll keep that Fibonacci there on the name. Uh, next up is the last one, TWX. Time hmm. Warner enjoying 8.59%. And look at how beautiful this is, actually. That's on the 15 minute. Go inside of three minutes, we can see it actually happening. So there's your Ruby Cross. There's the 51, the support money, money likes the name, money's holding. And now look at that trajectory long, up 0.59%. And see the pullback at the 96. Nice little push up above it. And now the next destination, if it's meant to be, if the long continues, will be up to the 243. 
Okay, so we run through the just the price structure, just structure of the open and price. And uh, so let's go ahead and get us in the 30-minute chart because we go back to the 12th. And there's the 12th right there, and there's 930 of the 12th right there. So what we'll start to do is we'll go to the 9 o'clock hour. In this case, it would be the 1530 hour on the date of the 9th. So that would be the, the end of the week prior. I think that'll work. So we'll mark off on all of this. There's the 12th at 9.30, because we need to see that bar once we get inside, we'll type it. So that's the bar we need to have on all of our charts. I'll show you why. Go into the five minute, and we'll scroll back, because we're trying to locate when in the world we started to get interested in the name, which is right here. We get tighter, but this is the Friday, the closing bar of, five through, of uh, the prior week. And then, of course, we were in the name, and we'll start to give you some rules around this. There's the 530 bar, 530, 545, and then let's move this over so we can get to the very end. And the last time that we saw a print on the bar would have been right there, 1,555 hours. Okay, so part of the rules with the basket, now that we've isolated um, 12 tickers that we like, is that following price, so you can start to learn some things, we go ahead and we get into the name at 10 o'clock, and the high bar at 10 o'clock, in this case 7703 is our entry. We're at 77.01, so you can see how sanguine and flat the market has been now coming into this is Thursday, so this is our second week. Now, we've only been in the Time Warner since the beginning of the week. Um, we will include it just so that you can see an entire basket. <coughs> I'll correct all of these misgivings because of the training um, when we put together our basket for next week. <clears throat> and we do have to find ourselves at the 10 o'clock bar, which is right there. And as I said, the high, so we always get in at the high, 7703. Go ahead and put a text in here, 7703, our entry. Um, because we do have some rules on price range. <coughs> Pardon me, guys. Taking us to the 96, <coughs> if we had been Rule-based, there's the 243, which is the higher time frame. We take 2% on Time Warner. It's way over there, though. <laughs> so if you tailor your entry, like we did here, and then you tailor your exit, there's the 2% on Time Warner. We'll continue to follow the trade, though, across. So you did have an opportunity. I want you to learn about that. 
and then of course you have an opportunity as well that if the trade is underperforming um, you know you do have an opportunity to get out flat and we did get that opportunity to get out flat actually we were given that opportunity several times actually here's another opportunity so they're clear shot warning to get out at 7703 we got it again then after that the name starts to fall precipitously it goes through a major line that we had drawn in the sand so we should have got out there as well it tags it again we're still in comes back around and probably 70 703 we'll see what's happening there no chance there here we come to the 51 let's see what that one gave us 7627 it did not go there so a lot of promises right a lot of promises and then now we get our chance isn't that crazy after all of that we could have survived all of that and price now is coming back now I say this kind of like fairyland storytelling a little bit don't want to do that though um, because we don't have to do that we really don't and let me get into a decent 15 minute chart so you can see you take the two percent you're fine you can revisit and the way that we do this is that we get into the Monday 10 o'clock candle and there are other rules too we're going to start we'll establish the rules about if the trade had gone against us right that what do we do if the trade initially goes against us and so we have to create boundaries and uh, we'll deal with that as well we're just looking at what did price do on the names that we were observing right so in this case i think that it's very important for you to see that price did give us two percent and what happens is that people get greedy that's not enough and then when price falls back even below their entry price there's something emotional that happens inside of the trade as well too because people are emotional inside of the trade the trade will return back to give you opportunities to get out of the out of the way the thing about twx to go on a counter trend entry long is that the trade had told us via Ruby that the trade was short. Now our baskets to begin with are all long and we entered long and we got long. Now if we didn't have Ruby and we took our 2%, that's no harm, no foul. But you have to know what the health and direction is of the equity and the health and the direction of the equity was short so since Monday the 12th watch what happens when I take the trade short see where the two percent is pardon me trying to do this with one hand actually today so let's go here there's the break of the of the range let me go to two percent so not only are we in a short issue we have a break of a range which gives us a little bit more impetus to stay in right you don't know where the short you don't know exactly know know um the best position to be in to stay and take in that double bottom we don't know that so you would have been given your two percent irregardless right or regardless <clears throat> so you get a 2% on the long if you had not paid attention to Ruby because we were, were given a gift actually but the, the true trade based on Ruby and based on the direction of the issue was short so just so that you know I think the TWX is actually a very good example because as we're coming back up and around we're getting now price is higher we were in at 77.03 now price is at 77.16 we definitely you know in my view of this <clears throat> the trade was short the trade gave you two percent then you're out and you move on 
and you concentrate on the remaining equities in the basket. You're taking your 2% and you move along. Whether you're waiting for another Monday at 10 o'clock to find yourself into the issue, that's something else. But the way that we will look at this for a, quite some time is choosing an issue. Of course, it's much better to choose an issue that's long so that we have the strength of the market, not the cautiousness and bearishness and insecurity of the market. So we're looking for names that actually have ruby crosses or they're coming into a ruby cross long. So we have always known that TWX, look at this horrible thing. Because having gone long on TWX, on Ruby now, let me just use TWX as, a, as an example. If you had gone wrong along and been with the sentiment of the market long, okay, no matter how one looks at long, you get the positivity of the market, you get more people in the trade, trading with you, not leaving the trade and then leaving you alone in the trade, but you actually get people involved with you in the trade. And that entire trade, <clears throat> TWX long on Ruby was 4.64% with never a threat for lack, for losing an equity. You still own it from down here, you could have sold it at any moment in between, 2% twice actually. So you could have taken 50% off of the weighted shares that you own. <coughs> Crap, the water. You could have taken off 50% of the weighted shares that you own at 2%. And now you have 50% of the rest of the weighted shares. And you can take another portion off again. And then you, you do what's called you let your runners run until they, they run for another 2%, two, two which it looks like, you know, how many times do we have three trades in here? We had approximately had 5.33. So we had 5.33 portions of the long to get out in, in the profit. So it doesn't matter how you slice it. The entire trade gave you five opportunities to exit a portion, all or none, long. But you had the market on your side. When you go short, as you can see over here, if you had done short on TWX, I'm going to grab the markers and throw them off to this side. You can see, and this is why when you play short, and people that know how to play short, the, the money, <clears throat> the risk is there. But the money is, in this case, 50% greater than the money long. Now you're in the trade twice as long, in this, in this case, twice as long. So it's a matter of how long you're keeping your equity at risk. Shorts are high risk, twice as, it takes you twice, twice as long. So here on the left side, long, shorter range, you know, shorter time frame, less return. On the short side of TWX, longer time frame, and greater return, except for today. <coughs> In fact, people that thought that they could continue, they get greedy, they continue to stay long, they're not looking, they continue to stay short, pardon me, they're thinking that no, 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 that they're right, the market is wrong, the market is telling them that they're wrong. And they're actually, you are giving up now 50%. 50% of what your short position was. So not only are you losing value, but people are becoming less interested in keeping up with your proposition.
that the trade is still short. So I hope that that touches a little bit more on the uh, touchy-feely pieces of um, being involved in the market. But um, and and you do over time, you benefit from having you know some great tools that you can look at the tools instead of uh, staying inside of your head. You know? And um, no doubt that there's sometimes where intuition is everything. No doubt. Uh, but um, if you do not have that balance, intuition balanced by the tools that you use, um, it's probably not such a great idea. Uh, and um, it is certainly one way of trading. But it's not the only way of trading, the intuitive trade. Okay, and that's why, like with this with this programming, we do talk about the tools. And I'll open this up a little bit more so you can see. In the six minutes until ten o'clock. Remember, the name of the event is before the bell, so I don't want to overstay my welcome. I do want to go through some of the cheddar <clears throat> interviews. So what I'll do is I will take us off of. Um, so we'll go into the one minute. Because the reversal is already in play. But it doesn't look like the trade wants to reverse very much today. It's getting a little funky and toppy up here in the one minute. Ruby did take a lovely cross here. And systems are go for it to go to the 243 if you want to watch this live with me. That's cool enough. Let's try and hide some of this stuff. And I wish that I could make this, make the chart static so that I could go in between. Um, go in between my windows, you know? Because really, even over at Twitter, like you could see, I looked up Cheddar. And sure, you know, he, when he said he paid, um, he paid, I think, seven thousand dollars for the dot com, and um, if I'm not mistaken, but if you bring it over to um, Twitter, and you will run into some some things that have nothing to do with Cheddar, and um, so isn't that crazy that you can pay all that money thinking? That on the standalone, sure, maybe he can own it, but inside of Twitter, he doesn't own anything. And you can't protect your name always on, on Twitter. So I can't even take you to the Cheddar lineup because of what's happening over there. Um, but we'll go into the what we're on the TWX name, right? So let's go TWX. We'll just continue to go through our follow through. And that is Time Warner's Twitter account. You guys have never seen it yourself. Going up to the Hangout. Yeah, see, that's another thing. Um, when you have your hangout down below, you think that you're actually seeing what that isn't true. You have to refresh it from the lower bar to see what you're seeing. It's a little messed up. Okay, so TWX Corp, the official Twitter account for Time Warner, known as New York Stock Exchange, TWX. You can also go to their site, and they have been with Twitter since April 2009. Look at how few followers. Very few that they're following. They have some likes, so they are rarely inside of uh, Twitter. Um, they retweet about the Cartoon Network. Um, they retweet so maybe a good place for you guys to find entertainment um, Twitter accounts. Uh, they retweet Turner Broadcasting, uh, Charlie on Broadway, The Big Candy Apple. Um, Congrats to HBO, Turner Broadcasting, Turner CTO, so you can learn about um, the people that are in front of the promotional junkets. Here's Sully, so you can see some press photos.
and the new shows that are coming up. Seeing an original broadcasting. So it's a good uh, Twitter account. If you're trying to just get a very quick snapshot. I think it's not like they've tweeted a lot of things. So keeps. Yeah, keeps your mind organized a little bit. <clears throat> I don't understand the emojis. I guess these are your uh, are their clients and pro their programming. Uh, so, you know, no one's really watching the store too much over at Time Warner on Twitter. Let's go to their website, timewarner.com. Go back to their chart, open up the tools for the news, <clears throat> up 0.68%, and the news that we get just through the Yahoo Finance, AT&T plans OTT service direct TV launch before 2017. You can probably read these headlines yourself. Don't know what that tool does exactly. And I don't know exactly what that tool is. Show more, it says. Ah, oh, that's right, we get our fundamentals. So we'll go ahead and we'll read this on the show more side so that we know what Time Warner is. These are the fundies on Time Warner. Time Warner Inc. is a media and entertainment company. The company operates through three segments. Turner, which consists of cable networks and digital media properties. Home box office, which consists of domestic premium pay television and streaming services. And international premium pay, basic tier. That's why that word international, right? That's what we got stuck in um, on, on the big short there. International premium pay, basic tier television services and streaming services, and Warner Brothers, which consists of television, feature film, home video, and video game production, and distribution. The company also holds interest in companies that operate broadcast networks. The company holds interest in Central European Media Enterprises, aka CME, which is a broadcasting company that operates television networks in Bulgaria, Croatia, the Czech Republic, Romania, the Slavic Republic, and Slovenia. The company has a joint venture interest in the CW, which includes a lineup of advertising-supported original programming, as well as a block of advertising-supported programming. So I think this is what uh, uh, Time Warner got caught in, as we had said. We thought that they got caught up in some sort of distribution issue with uh, the European um, with the European parties, and as you can see, even in their description, 50% of their description has to do with their interests over in Europe. So, no, duh, whatevs. Um, their average volume is 3.799 million. Okay, that's how many shares they trade per day on their average. They're giving us some beta numbers, these are risk numbers. Their 52-week high was 81.33. Their 52-week low was 55.53. Percentage of change over this past week is negative point. I'm sorry, does it read that? <clears throat> point set point five seven. Remember, we're point six seven right now. So when you look at the price percentage change for the week, we are point one over. The percentage change for the entire week. So we could look at that number and go, you know what? I wonder if this is the week's high. Do we have to put our money at risk any further? Because we're actually that close to the to the high for the entire week. So it's almost like, okay, we're one in the in, in lockstep with the market. Do we have to risk any more? Do we still like the long? And so you can evaluate based on that percentage price change. Same with your percentage price change for the month. Percentage price change, you can notice the short here, is 0.0438. And then, of course, here's the all-time 52-week percentage high, the most that you could have seen 
in Time Warner was 10.477%. So that's why I'm saying when you're in an issue for just a week and you get to take 2% of 10%, so instead of being in it for 52 weeks, you're in it for one week and you're able to take 2% off of the 10%. That's a pretty good deal right there, I think. Uh, you get your EBITDA, you get your enterprise value, your market cap basic, and it, obviously it fits our market cap. So two of the things are down. The price is it's over $10, the average volume, which we need to see. These numbers we've increased over, over time, but we need to see 1 million shares traded per day. On the market cap needs to be over $1 billion. In this case, of course, it's well over that. Number of employees, 24,000.8. It's a lot of people. Um, maybe the, the employers, employees, it's a little high for us. Number of shareholders, price and earnings, TTM, and the price and revenue, TTM, and the total shares outstanding. There's more information here. Because they pay a dividend. So it's a very interesting issue to trade, and there's a lot of things. It's a robust company. Uh, and um, so there are your fundamentals there on time learning. Still trading up at 77.12.6%. And it is off of its high today. The high was 77.23. And it's now 10.05. In any case, at 10.17, we do reevaluate the market and make our decision as to whether or not we want to be in further or if there's still more trading to be done. Okay, we'll cut that off there. All right, so those are some rules. We'll go over these rules every single day. We'll just keep adding until we have that <clears throat> nice fact going as to you know what would make us different uh, in bringing you information on the charts and the tools versus someone else and um, so we'll see if that's really true there's um so many great educators out there on on uh, on youtube and um, i don't think uh, like josh for example who spends so much time working on his videos these are finished videos <clears throat> that the training is just marvelous that it would be kind of a, a good idea to once the tickers are laid out to go ahead and go into our learning segment but of course I have to get permission from the from the creator to do that but I think it would be a really good idea to go through and find um, producers of content that we where we share the same um, sort of attitude about um, bringing um, market information um, to the public and uh, you know maybe where we hold the same you know like the same values like he has a pro tip Bitcoin pro tip so do we uh, things like that and uh, I've always always enjoyed his sensibility in how he educates people so I might want to reach out to him and see if we can showcase his uh, trainings they're usually pretty short, and that would be a good way of, because we can't play music, a good way of um, doing some interludes with the Hangouts, or with the uh, YouTube Live, pardon me. Uh, if, because if I'm not mistaken, we can still, not just through screen share, but through the YouTube playlist, yeah, there's the YouTube uh, app. So we'll write to him and see if that's something that he wants us to do. And we can find just a little crew of people where they're cool with doing that. And um, I think he's got, he has to have at least a dozen videos. So that would take us through 12 days before we would even have to go back and through. So we'll reach out to him and see if, that, if that's what he wants to do, if he wants to do a collab. that would be fun. All right, I'm going to take us off of the screenshot right now 
and put myself on mute for just a couple of moments. Actually, I think what I'll do is I'm going to take you guys over to Apple and make sure that we're in the Apple menu. And the market has really slowed down now. We've got a big timer up. And I'll be on mute for just a moment. Okay, so you know that we have to share the one money.net monitor, so I'm going to be switching my monitor over right now. So give me just a moment while I do that sign in and so forth. Okay, guys? So I'm still here.
I definitely so had to the Chet and Periscope the right now. They're uh, interviewing so a company called Me Undies, and we'll put the all the information in the, in all the, of the discussion that you sell. Is that the deal? tab. Okay, I'm back on the mic. I'll be powering up. Sorry, I ca got caught up in the me undies story. I love hearing stories like that, especially in the subscription box. I've been very hot, been very bullish on subscription boxes. And uh, I just, you know, oh, obviously you think of everything, you know, this would be a good one, that would be a good one. But it really is the mix of the team and what they know and how smart they are and, uh, so me undies obviously huge win. Um, they're closing in on thirty million dollars in sales for this year, and they're on target to grow to sixty million dollars in twenty seventeen. Congrats on that! And it's a subscription box. It's kind of like you know you either want to play along and and have fun and be made part. Or you don't. It's like one of the um, just the cleanest um, the cleanest deals known to man. Love it, and the fact that it's a subscription. Like I think we um, got caught up in the whole. You know, oh, if it'll be like a magazine subscription. You can never get out from underneath it. But the way that these subscription services work and the back engine and all that, uh, it's very easy. You stop your subscription, and that's it. They take you. They take you off and away. There's plenty of people that are waiting uh, to fill in your spot. Okay, 
Uh, we have our money.net is up now. That was the fastest money.net load that I've had in a while. And let me go ahead and we'll do a screenshot. We'll get our money.net up here and then we'll share it. And we will, I believe that shares, however, what happens to the Hangout is something different. So let me go ahead and hide that again because I don't think I put Dollar it Dollar candles, one point, three, zero, zero, okay. zero, supported by Ginskip Report. Okay, let's bring up the Hangout again. And we're presenting to everyone. There we go. I'll put my window up. And there we go. All right, uh, the news that you just heard was about the USD CAD. And we'll go ahead and read it. This is breaking premium news that you do get on money.net. I'll go ahead and read it. Uh, one spot 3,000 supported by Genscape Report. Oil price gains have been arrested by the Genscape Report, where a build of 210,000 in crude is being reported. Some reports contrary to this. And this has lent a bid to the USD CAD, which had already found a bid just under one spot 3,000. Not too much movement since as the pair hovers around one spot 3030, contained here as WTI still trades on a 46 handle. It looks as though we are set for choppy trade from here, but on the downside, it looks as though for the first support point of note, at 12.970 may hold for now. That's the CAD, the USD CAD pair. If you are a Forex trader out there listening to me, uh, we get pretty decent premium news on Forex over at money.net. Um, okay, let's see here. We have our economic calendar, which we need to get you to see this is sitting there's so I'll put it right in the center there and here are the news items that came in At 10 o'clock we had an EMU EC consumer confidence report we have existing home sales those are all things that already took place so our economic calendar is just waiting on tomorrow and um, I think what I can probably do is I will X out of the economic calendar. I'll go ahead and take that out of the browser and we'll open up our news module. Module. And let's see if I can grab it. Let's hope I can grab it. Hold on just a minute. Let me grab the ticker there. X out there and then let's see if I can grab the module. Come on, module. There we go. Oh, almost there we go. I'm going to grab the module and bring it all the way over to where the economic news module was. All right, so let's go to MNET, and we will see what the news, there's the CAD news. There's some conflicting Twitter reports regarding Genscape report. Note sources note to take over FireEye, F-E-Y-E, with Cisco, the touted bidder. This used to be a big deal company a couple of years ago when they went public, FireEye. There's some conflicting Twitter reports once again about the Genscape report. Uh, let's see here. Ooh. And all of these, let's see here. Beezer Homes are to be the next home builder to be purchased, according to deal report. And because we hold the DHI, the DR Horton, let's take a look. Beezer Homes, ticker BZH, are to be the next home builder to be purchased according to deal reporter um, we'll have to find out i think deal reporter has a twitter account we'll go over to twitter and see if we can locate them all right we'll go back deal report okay um i had seen a um, it's an interview style, um, market interview style, where they're sitting down and they're basically talking to each other about the market. I don't know what that's called in broadcasting. You know, two broadcasters sitting in, cha in two chairs and talking to each other. 
and their um, landing page or their dash was mostly news. And so I want to get some feedback um, as to whether or not, for example, you can see that we're showing the Netflix, right? Netflix over here. We're showing the Google. CSTR has opened at 1650. Let's catch that. ESTR. I didn't get that at all. Uh, you know, they don't have any weather. I think maybe maybe we open up the heat map. Okay. 60 seconds now to nat gas numbers. Oh, nat gas. Do you need the nat gas numbers? We are hearing a whisper number of a build of 46 billion cubic feet. Uh, we our expectations are a build of 52. Hold on. Do you want me to shut it down so you can power it back up? Yep. There's whispers. So we're waiting on the nat gas numbers. Why didn't I notice the nat gas numbers on the um, econ calendar? Fifty-two, build a fifty-two in line. We are seeing that gas now at one point two four percent. The October contract now seeing a three hundred two thirty. Fifty-two build. United States UIA Natural Gas Stocks Change September sixteenth. Fifty-two BCF versus X. Fifty-two BCF. Print. Sixty-two BCF. So it's in line with expectations of fifty-two Breaking. BCF. U.S. Dow Natural Gas Inventory zero nine sixteen weekly change. 52B versus 59B expected. Okay. Sorry about that, guys. Okay, so the dash that they had, as I was saying, was just a lot of um, just a lot of news. And because, for example, like the analyst estimates, these are things that need to be done well before the open, right? Because that's where a lot of the analyst uh, reporting comes in. So th this window is always available to us as Money.net subscribers. But for those of you that are watching this um, on YouTube, these are things that you really need to be much further up close on. You know, it's, it, it's certainly uninteresting. I think that the news pieces might be of, you know, greater interest. The same thing with the, with the weather. The weather looks fun and all of that. Numbering some voila takeover talk for Cleggan. Count. Unconfirm it. Selgin takeover, unconfirmed. Um, and, and the same thing with the uh, chart data. Um, you really have to be on top of these charts, and we have our larger charts anyway. This is what I'm talking about. We are seeing some call buying here now in FireEye, F-E-Y-E. I would think so. We talked about the FireEye before. Okay. Um, so we might want to change the technical charts around a little bit and maybe open up the radar x-ray. So basically what it would be is news, the radar x-ray, and then maybe showcase some of the newer features um, and the clock. So we might do that because um, the Google Apple technical charts, 
I think maybe what we could do is do three major charts along the bottom. Get the heat map maybe in the center. Uh, get the, a full uh, news node across the top so we can read the entire news article rather than it being shortened up. Because I think that that's probably important too, so we can read the headline. So we'll talk to Quiet about that, you know, some of the changes that we'd like to make. Um, I don't have to save my changes, so I can just do them the way that I want to every time I powered up. That's another benefit. Any changes that I make, I just say I don't want to save them, and, and it goes right back to uh, to the way that he had them. Before. Here you can take over chatter on cell gene, C-E-L-G. Take over chatter. And Elf Cosmetics, I think you heard about that. They IPO'd today. Elf Cosmetics, I love it when smaller companies get to IPO. It's really exciting stuff. Let's see what they're, um, not they're even on here at all. WTO say you yeah. failed to eliminate subsidies for a 384 Airbus Air FP. Oh, I see why. Because Elf opened at $24 after pricing at $17. So obviously a lot of people are at ELF are excited for that. Very cool. I'll we'll watch their chart. WTO say you failed to eliminate subsidies for Airbus. Air FP 380. And I don't think that they are listed yet as a chart. Because you do have to have a little bit of data in there. I'll go back to the Goop chart. There we go. So yeah, that's what I'm kind of thinking, people, uh, is we will, you know, uh, because we're not really seeing, I think especially the analysts, this piece here, I think we're going to go ahead and close that out, because this is really something. U.S. equities continue to power higher now, with a down up 153 points now, or 0.84%. S&P now sitting at 2179 now, up 0.76%. And the NASDAQ at 53.34 at all-time highs of 0.75%. Wow. All-time highs, huh? Can you believe this, really? And when, you, when we get news in that Tupperware has been upgraded, watch out. It's exciting. I'll be on mute for just a moment. Okay, you guys will see me move some of these tiles around. Uh, before I let go of the weather tile, New York is enjoying an 84.4 Fahrenheit day, 29.1 Celsius day. It is clear and sunny in New York, September 22nd, 2016. So they are enjoying a uh, Indian summer day for sure. Um, then let me open up. I don't like the way that the heat map not nodule is kind of too, it's really squishy in there, isn't it? Not able to really see it. And um, I don't, I can't even see the whole nodule. So let's go ahead and we will reformat the tiles. And you do that by going into modules. You go down one step further and you tile all. Tile all. Go. What it does is that it rotates it out, and then that way I can grab my heat one to see. Ah, so that's why we don't have everything. And we can see our advancers, decliners, unchanged, top volume, gainers, losers, gainers, Amazon, of course, on the day. And Cheddar had given us that heads up because all the bells and whistles were going off about Amazon. Tell you what, if you talk about it, if you're talking about it and it's in your like vernacular and you're sitting down and you're looking at the sites and all of that, go into the charts. See if there's an opportunity to own it. 
create it. Okay, so there goes the remember how it, I wanted to do the news, right? There's the technical charts for Apple and Alphabet. And the only other thing that I could do is add another news piece, but change it from ticker only, from extended view to ticker only. That's an idea. Because I have one tile that's open here on the, on the, uh, on the left. And uh, the world clock, um, as I remember, they used to have not just the um, countdown, but they used to have the actual physical clock. And I, I wasn't able to find that this go around. But there were some upgrades, and um, quite a few actually. About the, There's another eight modules that have been added to the upgrade. So we'll just keep making it better like we do with everything, just a little step better every single time. And being that it's 1039 right now, I think it's best to wrap it up. I want to thank you very much for coming and spending some time with me. This has been Beauty Bubble for Beauty Bubble Now, before the bell. I'll make sure that you check back with my programming that comes up the mid-market, and um, that usually happens at around the noon hour where we... Um, digest what's happened throughout the morning get some admin stuff done like I'm trying to get done here on the um, on the money.net and I'll, I'll reach out to Josh and see if he wants to be included with his uh, YouTube videos and um, if you want to you can always check out uh, um, a more um, Fluid conversation, not a one, to, not the one to many, but a more fluid conversation. If you'd like to meet with me over at firetalk.com, just look for Beauty Bubble now. Or if you want to, the moment that I go live on FireTalk, it gets pushed out on Twitter. You can follow me at Beauty Bubble on Twitter. So all of these things are in the description box, including our tickers, all of the links and the looks and the read this and highly recommends are in the discussion area of our YouTube channel. So thanks a lot, guys. Make sure that you subscribe. Speaking of which, yes, you do. You need to subscribe. We're on a big subscriber push for 2017, so there's no pressure uh, that we go from the count that we're at right now to a 1,000. Imagine a 1,000 people that would be interested in hearing what my take is, what my attitude is, what I'm interested in, I think that would be um, just unbelievable if that would happen. And uh, so let's see if we can actually pull it off. All right. So thanks a lot, guys, and we'll talk to you soon.